KnuckleJunkies.com here with the victorious Josh Sampo. Josh, uh, plenty of cage control, plenty of aggression out there, and uh, you, you get the uh, unanimous decision win. Just thoughts on the victory? Um, it's me and Rodrigo uh, Vagi, my jiu-jitsu coach. That's what he, our main focus was is in this division, everybody's you know 100 miles an hour, right. really good pace. So he's like, that's one thing we really need to start working on and do it now is controlling people and the positions that I'm good at. And So I felt I was controlling on my feet, and then on the ground I felt like I controlled the positions. Yeah, I mean, first couple of rounds really showcasing uh, the striking is almost, uh, you know, almost like a boxing match out there at times. I mean, uh, I know that's something you've been working on a lot, and can you kind of just talk, talk about that part of your game? Um, just I want to be a really well-rounded fighter, and I feel that my, my wrestling's come a long way. Uh, my jiu-jitsu's come a long way, too, so that missing element is, of course, my striking and then putting it all together. And my Muay Thai coaches were there with me today, yeah. and we've gone some pro Muay Thai fights, so that's helped me a lot. Just not, I know how to throw punches, ones, twos, and threes, and kicks, right. but that confidence standing in front of somebody and throwing and being able to counter it's you can only get that with first-hand experience and that's really helped out in uh, my MMA game as well as push me along in the Muay Thai as well. Now this is a you know first fight and what looks to be a, a busy uh, 2012 for you. Yes uh, like I just like I had a Muay Thai fight about a month ago right. then I've got this fight and then I think I have one penciled in for about another a month away so I mean yeah it's gonna be busy and hopefully they keep coming it's nice it kind of helps keep my weight down I mean this weight cut was a little tough but uh, it would have been a lot harder if I didn't have this previous fight, yeah. fight about a month ago. So, And so, I mean, just kind of what did you learn about yourself out there tonight? Um, I know that when it comes down to it, if I had to go an extra round, I could go two more rounds if I had to. My cardio is in great shape. Uh, like I gave a shout out to my friend Emily. She, she's an exercise science major. She helped me out, helped me find my VO2 max and stuff like that. So she helped me find a way to push myself a little bit harder. I feel I can go 25 minutes, 100 miles an hour. So that's not an issue. But uh, I think I really learned that uh, if I slow myself down, I don't give up bad positions. I can control fights where I want to take them. So it's, yeah. it, the, the confidence is starting to go a little bit higher, and that's what I need to. So. Well, and it definitely sounds like, too, you, you've, uh, you've evolved, you know, as a fighter. Um, yeah, like I said, the game is you have to be a well-rounded fighter yeah. to be able to compete at those high levels. And now that the, the big show, the NFL of MMA, has got my weight class, so that's yeah. definitely the ultimate goal. And so, I mean, i got to take care of my stuff, my, you know, my faults now. That way, when I get up there, I can make a bang and hopefully stay there and climb the ladder as fast as possible. And just kind of thoughts on your opponent, you know, kind of what, what did he bring to the table out there and, and kind of talk a little bit about your eye. Um, he was a really tough kid. I, I was kind of more worried about his stand-up when, when he stood with me. I was like, all right, this is where I'm happy at anyways. Um, within the first, I don't know if it's 15, 20 seconds, I think I went in for a combo and he just stuck his hand out, finger went right in the eye. And uh, I still, it's fuzzy everywhere around. It's hard to see. So, I mean, I was kind of have to try to close it. You know, I felt like I was drunk, I guess. Yeah. And uh, that kind of affected me, but I was like, I can fight through this. Adversity is kind of what makes you a better fighter to be able to fight through stuff like that. And then like 20 seconds later, he poked me in the other eye. So I guess it kind of, the double vision on both sides evened it out. Yeah. But I mean, you know, that happens in fights. It, he wasn't doing it on purpose. He didn't do it on purpose. I'm sorry. And uh, so I just try to deal with it and fight through. So. Knucklejunkies.com here at the Alter Boy, Zach Freeman. Zach, uh, just one word. Wow. I mean, uh, very, uh, for lack of a better word, a vicious uh, submission. Just, just thoughts on your victory tonight. Oh, man, I played a million things through my head, and uh, I didn't imagine a guillotine, but it's my favorite, it's my favorite move, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I've never gotten in a fight, so now that I finally did, it's time to move on to a next new favorite move. Yeah, I mean, you knew, you knew he was a wrestler and, you know, was going to go for the takedown, so maybe that guillotine would work in your favor. Yeah, um, uh, my coach said, hey, just establish a jab. And I've always kind of panicked whenever I got on my feet and started trading punches. And, you know, I'm a wrestler by trade, but I remember he caught me kind of in the eye and I said, you know what, I'm fine. Let's just throw, the, throw our hands. And I established a jab and he shot in and I just cinched it up. It was right there. And uh, I, he almost got out and I just went to my feet and then I went to sink it back in. And I noticed he almost pulled out, so I got back to my feet and then uh, – it, he ended up going out, so I mean, I'll take it. That choke almost reminded me of uh, John Jones Machida kind of esque, you know, I mean, yeah. the, way, the way he applied it. Yeah, it was extremely deep. Um, it's hard to get a guillotine that deep, but um, you actually turn it into a ten finger. So a lot of guillotines, you apply pressure here, but I actually had it here, so it was very deep. So, I mean, what's this mean for you? I mean, this is kind of, you know, you, you had a big 2012 kind of lined up with a lot of fights, and, you know, you said uh, – Early on in this year, you know, if you could, you know, stay healthy and not receive much damage, well, not much damage tonight. Yeah, that's the way to start. Uh, I mean, anytime you can leave a fight literally without a scratch, let's 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 line another one up. So that's what I'm ready to do. And uh, so, it was just what does this do for your confidence? 
Honestly, um, it doesn't do much, you know. Until I'm in a war, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I have my confidence. I'm a champion. I've, I've built my whole life around wrestling and competitive sports. But now that, you know, I'm just, I, I don't get much satisfaction out of a quick win like that, yeah. confidence wise. Right. I would rather embrace a war. So one day I will get that. And hopefully it's in the UFC. <laughs> Get your St. Louis MMA fix at knuckledonkeys.com.